Well, I got some good news. That big party of people, they're gone now. They were right out here. What we're gonna do right now is go see what's left behind. I noticed a lot of trash. I could just see it from my campsite, like building up over the couple days they were out here. And they just left a couple hours ago and I did see them with at least one garbage bag full of trash. So they did pick up a lot of it, but I can still see just from my site back there, there's a lot of trash here still. And so what we're gonna do right here, right now is, I'm not trying to be a Karen, you know, and I don't wanna, oh, it's worse than I thought now that I'm here. You know, I don't wanna call anybody out necessarily. You know, I'm not trying to shame the people that were here because as far as I'm concerned, you know, they were just partying, doing their own thing with their families and having a good time. And yeah, it was disturbing to me. Like it was loud and they created a lot of dust and things like that. But those are all things you're allowed to do out here. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean that they were doing anything wrong. The trash situation... It's gonna be a different story. And you could see in my videos from the last several days that I was saying how clean it is out here. Like I rarely run into trash. I did a little hike yesterday for about a mile and I found one water bottle out in the middle of the woods. And now here, like I can't believe they left it this way. So this is just the kind of thing you don't want to do. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to show everything, but yeah, this place is littered with trash. It's surprising to me that you would leave when this trash is just completely visible. Like I get it if there's a few pieces here and there, you know, there's kids. So who knows, you know, what they leave around. Um, but This stuff, when you're packing up, ready to leave, you can just stand back and you can just see it. There's just trash, and debris here, everywhere. Here's some cookies. There's styrofoam plates, a lot of bottles, water bottles, beer bottles, more water bottles, cans. And I have a feeling we're gonna find some stuff that's even nastier than just trash. Because there were a lot of people here and there were only two campers, like two um, you know, RVs, which would have toilet facilities in them. So we might find some really nasty stuff out here. It's actually making me more upset than I thought it was gonna walking over here. This is really a shame just because this is public land. It's for everybody. So the people that were here partying, they're allowed to be here doing what they want to do. But you're supposed to clean up after yourself. I can hear Dodger barking in the trailer. <laughs> so there's, yeah, it's just bottle caps and plastic lids from bottles, some kind of wrappers, things like that. They cleared an area over here in the ground to set up a volleyball net. And I don't know how they were hopping the fence but it looks like they disturbed the fence in some way. Um, this is probably one area where they set up something so they can hop the fence. Over here, you can see a pathway to get through this fence. So they must have been just going through it or they rigged it up in some way. So, you know, I feel really bad, like, 
you know, because I'm dissing on the activity that went on here. Like, I feel really bad, um, kind of, I feel like I'm nitpicking, right? So I just want to point that out. Like, I don't like doing this. Like, I don't like pointing out things that people did that are wrong. But the problem is that somebody has to come out here and clean this up. But it's just really disrespectful. And then after, you know, they were riding their their machines, their ATVs and stuff, back and forth right in front of my camp. And I just kept thinking, like, is it me or are they being, like, really rude? Like, shouldn't they find a place that's not in front of a, somebody's campsite to do their fun four-wheeling? And, I, you know, I didn't want to be a fuddy-duddy about it. You know, I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody to stop doing what they're doing. I have wheels. I can just turn the key and take off basically, you know, but it turns out, yeah, this was, well, they left a mess. I mean, it's hard for me to say, but I don't want to say that they were rude, but yeah, I think they were a bunch of rude people. Over here, you can see this is going to be the nasty area. There's a bucket. There's a big plastic bag. More trash. So you're probably going to find the latrine around here. Let's go take a look at their volleyball court that they had set up. So this is the volleyball court that was set up. It's just striking me right now, like, I thought it was really cool that I saw somebody with a full bag, full garbage bag. So I thought, oh yeah, they're, they're gonna pick up all their trash, but when you leave, you just, you're gonna see this, like it's just all right here. So you're leaving knowing what this place looked like before you got here. You can see there's a stake down here from the fence that they pulled out. Um, then they got, this is one of the poles for the volleyball net. And there's still one up here. And then it's just, it's just trash, like little bits of trash everywhere. Some sort of liquid here. I don't even want to think about what that is. You know, it's just disrespectful. And it's just, it's disgusting. It's just, it's wrong. Just little pieces of plastic everywhere. So here they've removed a couple branches. Here's a part of a tree that got ripped off. There's several pieces here. The tree's not gonna die, um, you know, cause they ripped some branches off of it or whatever, but it's just, it's rude. If everybody did that, it's, man, it, it's, this sucks, man. <laughs> really sucks. Okay, this is probably going to be disgusting. I'm starting to see toilet paper. Uh, just so you know, so you might want to fast forward through this part. And I might not show all of it. So in that bag is going to be some really nasty stuff. And I can see a lot of flies around this bucket. So I don't know what, how people think like that. Like I'm gonna bring a poo bucket out here and then I'm just gonna leave it. 
Like, I don't, I just don't understand that. That way of thinking. Uh, so here, I can smell some nasty stuff. There's like uh, wet wipes. I should be careful where I step. <laughs> so there's a um, plate, styrofoam plate. Bunch of wadded up toilet paper. You guys get it, right? Like, I'm not trying to condemn the people that were here, you know, supposedly enjoying, enjoying the outdoors. I'm condemning what they left behind. E you know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And like, I've probably accidentally left trash before at campsites. But, you know, this is obviously not accidental. I think we've seen pretty much everything we can see right here in the site where they were camped. We're going to walk over to this area that I would hike with the dogs every morning. It's, I mean, not a hike, really, just walk them in the morning before before I give them breakfast. And I can already see trash over here. Because this is a, an area that's specifically like, there, there's not even really a campsite over here. So it's like super clean. I mean, there's no, no trash over here at all. But this looks like they might have turned it into a dump. Or it kind of looks like another bathroom. So, you know, I guess this is a time for me to tell you, like, you know, it's okay to shit in the woods, but you got to bury it. And it's not that hard to do. And... Even if you have a big group like out here, you can dig a pretty big hole. You got plenty of people to dig, help you dig a deep hole, set up a latrine, and then you just cover it with dirt. And at least that way, like, you don't have this nasty stuff sitting on the top for, you know, animals and stuff like that. But let alone people have to deal with and see. So this is, this is where me and the dogs would come every morning <laughs> for the last several days that we've been camped here. You know, it's a different mindset, right? It's like I was saying before in my last videos how the people that were making noise out here, they are using this place for something different than what I use it for. I use it for peace and quiet and simplicity and to experience nature and the outdoors and the animals. But they want to use it to party and be rowdy and I think that's fine but then they leave a, a mess like this behind and it just shows that oh no they don't have any respect for what's actually out here at all so you see toilet paper like this that means there's all kinds of you know what all around here actually that's really disgusting so I now that I'm thinking about it like they didn't bury their waste, so it's stupid for me to even walk around here because I'm bound to step in some, you know what? So basically, I can't come here anymore. <laughs> I didn't want to look at my shoes, but I'm trying to step on the rocks. Yeah, there's toilet paper all in these trees. I can hear like a lot of flies. So literally my morning walk area with the dogs is their bathroom. They had a racquetball set up. I saw them playing racquetball, and so here's one of the sticks from their racquetball. Or um, not racquetball, um, badminton. And this is the kind of stuff you don't want to bring camping, you know? These Capri Suns, because you have a whole straw, and then you got these bags. And you give those to kids, and obviously they don't throw them out they lose the straw 
they tear open the, the fruit snacks and just leave the trash everywhere. You know, most of the places I go to are super clean and that's why this is so shocking to me. Um, here's, I don't know what this is, a basket, probably for one of the ATVs. And, oh, you can see why they left it. Cause it, it broke, it got demolished. So you don't need it anymore. So you just leave it out in the woods for, you know, someone to trip on or someone to run over with their vehicle and pop their tire. That's the smartest thing to do. You can see here in this cattle grate, there's a lot of trash as well. The problem is that this kind of mess makes people like me look bad because you know, as a full-time nomad, we're constantly out in places like this. And the good thing is that most of us do pick up after ourselves. All it takes is a camp like this to be left like this. And these places do get shut down. That's a sad situation because this is land for everybody to use. And it's for everybody to use in pretty much whatever way you want, as long as you take your stuff home. There's ants all over the tripod right now. Boy, he's a good dog. So that really sucks. Like, I'm not gonna let that like ruin the rest of our time here. I'm really glad those people are gone because it was so noisy. Last night they were riding their ATVs and the side-by-sides and the dune buggies in front of my rig back and forth. They just go back and forth. Like they're not going, it's not like they're going a mile and then they come back you know, 10 minutes later, it's like, no, no, they're just doing a loop right in front of my trailer. They were doing that until midnight. Yeah, it was until midnight last night, 11.45. Ladybug. I did kneel down in um, a bunch of black ants, but then there were these flies that were coming up from the ground too. I didn't see any ants when I knelt down, but I knelt down right in them. So they were all up on the camera and the tripod i want people to feel like you can do what you want out here this is a land of freedom you know it's public land and they want to play their music loud late at night and i don't like it but i don't it's not this isn't my place to make rules the trash thing and leaving your your poo bucket and all that nasty stuff like Echo. This is what we do. This is how we live. I know we got a lot of new subscribers lately, and I think it's really awesome. Keep subscribing. Hit that like button. Let us know you're watching. We like to know you're watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I wanted to say, like, I think some of you are going to say I'm being nitpicky, but I don't think you're going to say that. I think most people are going to be on my side in this case, and some people are probably going to be even more upset than, than I am. The good thing is it's nice and quiet now. I like that. It's a little bit later in the day. I'm walking a little bit further from, I'm going to call it poop camp. It's disgusting. I'm so glad those people are gone, but I just feel so grossed out. Like there's all that nasty trash and then you can see it's it's they i mean they trashed not just like their area but they spread it out it's disgusting come on dodge there's some more over there it's not just teepee on the on the surface and there's definitely there's more flies out now it's just, I guess I just get so much of being out here. I mean, look at this place. If you, you know, if you don't see the crap and the teepee on the ground, it, it's just a beautiful area.
it's just an absolute disregard for what we have available to us on you know in this in this area in this country but just on the planet to me this is the this is the woods you know this is nature this isn't like you know some parking lot or some trashy cul-de-sac this kind of stuff is like why i don't like being in populated areas so when it comes out <laughs> to me out here it's so freaking disappointing.